Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. My name is Esther. Today we'll be talking about five things that you need to invest in as a young woman or as a young lady. So the first thing on my list is your scent. Invest in your scent. I was more of skincare fan. I just wanted something that could blow my skin, give me this young beautiful skin. Though I smell nice but it wasn't really my thing back then because I could just get any perfume back then and as long as it smells good and I'm just good to go until um, my very good friend she's more of a um, perfume person and she has a lot of perfumes each time i meet her she smells different she, she has this very sweet scent this is why this hat you should be careful of the friends that you keep because they could rub on you her perfume love or whatever you call it rubs on me i wanted to be like that i wanted to smell good i wanted you know people not just to compliment only my skin but also the way i smell since then i started checking out perfumes and their fragrance and that's when I knew that perfumes are really really expensive. Investing your smell is also a form of communication. I feel like there's this certain confidence that you get when you smell nice. There are some certain perfumes actually that when you use it, it smells like zero. There are some people that they just look so sniffly. But there's one thing that will tell you this person is very luxurious or this person is more than what um, he or she is looking is actually the smell. There's some smell that smells hmm some perfumes that smell so luxurious guys. sometimes you don't even have to do much talking let your smell do the introduction for you i've come to understand that i am more of a floral person and a fruity person i believe that so many um types of perfume that you can get out there but i don't want something so strong that is competing with like a guy i want something that you know if someone should walk into the environment even if person doesn't know you first guess that the person should have in mind is a lady just walking like that is the kind of perk that i am into more of a floral scent or more of a fruity smell that is what i love so some people like maybe something stronger or maybe something like the oud i just like something very mild something sweet something floral i believe in having a signature smell i want something that even if i'm not there and maybe you perceive it you should be like ah it reminds me of esther or you feel like ah is esther around here you know my brother has this signature smell <laughs> there was a particular period like i am um, when i came to his side i didn't see him but that area was just smelling him i was just like my mind was like okay maybe someone else with the same pair from walk past me until you know i got a call that he actually came home maybe to pick something else before leaving that and you know i could tell because he's so used to that smell and even if he's not there even in school market you know, someone can just pass me and have that smell and i was just like reminds me of my brother so i am more of that person i want something that when i am not there that smell will just you know you just you already have that smell registered in your mind that this is esther you understand my point as a young woman as a young lady you shouldn't have body odor it doesn't have to be something very expensive you can start with something that's sweet and lovely so if you smell good you look good you also feel good about yourself i also believe that there's a certain way that you smell that not just anyone can approach you if you can agree with me because I feel like there's some kind of luxurious perfume that you use and not any regular person can just come to your front and tell you not it's already the perf is given I'm not your mate you get what I'm trying to say I have some perf here that I want to show you that I use so the first one here I have is when I try bringing this out from the shelf it fell down and the mouth broke <sighs> I'm so heartbroken it has a floral um it has a floral smell and there is something that you will tell that a lady just walk into the room and something that sends a message telling you yes a female is here um you know just that kind of vibe and this smells so nice anytime i spray this i like to combine this with um this and like i said earlier in one of my videos i am more of a pink person i love pink so so much you will notice that most of my two perfumes that i have are actually pink because i love pink so this is another one pretty in pink i love this perfume so so much Each time i spray this i get a lot of compliments i like to mix this with some other ones that i will show you but this pretty in pink has a lovely fragrance and it has more of a floral smell each time i combine these two together it smells so nice i combine this with also this so this is yara so this yara it's actually there's a perfume for this the perfume is like 12 to 15 k so this one is 2000 yara and it smells so good it has this i don't know if i should say sugary smell 
well i don't know but it has floral and also something something very sweet something that will you know draw your attention so i like to combine these two together and this combo in short this one and with so many others that i will show you is just like the perfect combination so another person that i like to combine with this particular one too is blended ah god you see it has like a pink top too blended smells splendid not too strong but it also also has this kind of sweet smell if you know um this how they call this perfume again sugar is it sugar baby yes you know sugar baby has kind of sugary smell so something like that is more like a feminine perfume that is what i like another perfume that i would like to show you is um this i think this one came this one came in like a set this um is it nyc it came with a body lotion it came with shampoo it came with um like a small like body mist and has something like that and it smells so nice this one has like a hundred percent floral smell something very sweet and each time i use this i get a lot of compliments another one that i really really love is this one though it's empty i kept it because i still want to get it and uh, you know smart smart collection has like a lot of like name smart collection it has so many and um, there are so many and if you don't know the number you could end up getting the wrong one i kept this one so that i could get it easily without any mistake or whatsoever so this is smart collection number 385 it has very mature smell it's kind of sweet sweet smell i think that i love to use is body mist i don't really like them so much because i just feel so uncomfortable spraying it on my bare body i don't think i can ever get used to spraying body mist on my bare skin especially when i have a necklace on so since i'm not sure if it's like 100 silver or 100 gold i don't want some chemical reaction happening around my neck is why i don't really like it so another body mist is body fantasy i love body fantasy especially the vanilla but i don't have the vanilla so this one here is the white moss and it smells so good it smells really really good i probably don't even know how to describe it but i'm sure you guys I've seen this one a lot it smells so good guys it's really really good another one is also body fantasy but the fisha fantasy fisha fantasy this purple one it also smells good it has more of a floral smell i told you guys i am more of a floral mm. i am more of a fruit <laughs> I am more of a floral person and a fruity person. So another one that I love of Body Fantasy is this Strawberry Fantasy. It's kind of fruity and it smells so good. I think it's leaking, so that's why. Ouch, my nose. This is something that you could use maybe for any evening walk, and it's to send a message that a lady walking stuff like that. Another one that I love also um, from Victoria's Secret. This is the vanilla. It smells good. Another one that I use, but well, that was my sister's one. The name is Temptation. I will so get that body. I will so get it. It smells so good. It smells so luxurious you all have to really try that body mist it is one of the best victoria secret that so far that i have used another one is this baccarat it has this sugary smell and i don't think that this is like the original baccarat you get but it's also good another one that i use is this berry Burberry weekend this smells so good the second thing on my list to invest in is your hygiene invest in your hygiene you're not meant to be dirty this is where the body odor comes from if you're not clean if you don't put on clean clothing this is where that smell can build up bro make sure you keep your, your bathroom clean make sure that all the things are clean change your pillowcases especially if you have an acne prone skin this is something that you want to really be doing to change your pillowcases um change your bed sheet keep your environment clean um disinfect your water sometimes people will be like the water is giving them rashes and all that in cases like that disinfect your water for oral hygiene too matters and your feminine hygiene too matters in your toothbrush after three months it's good toothpaste yeah, i like using colgate because colgate does the work for me and there was a video that i watched that most dentists also recommend colgate toothpaste that doesn't mean um we don't we don't have um other good toothpaste like we have um oral b martin close up yes we also have close up and so many others out there but i just like using colgate even most of my toothbrushes that i've used in the past are always from colgate colgate has different um types different there are different types we have i can't even leave them obviously i can't really use them because i've used 
not too much but i know i've used the green one i've used the blue one currently i'm using the white one so there are so many types out there so you just pick the one that is good for you um, make sure you brush your teeth before going to bed just to avoid calculi from forming in the long run for feminine hygiene i mean we already know like the normal drill which is not to use soap down there when we are doing our business this time you can use them fresh all these are feminine wash we have them fresh we also have one from oriflame so you could just use any of them in case maybe you also don't feel comfortable with them you could just use water so it's good that you don't use um soap down there also when in a period you know you have to also keep yourself clean don't use one pad for like the whole day keep yourself clean you want to make sure that you smell good and you also feel good so to avoid any form of um body odor and stuff like that first thing on my list to invest in is your skincare and that is my specialty invest in your skin when you look good definitely you also feel good about yourself it's very very important that you come to understand your skin type your skin type is really really important most times people just depend on someone recommending stuff to them and at the end of the day when you don't work you now have somebody to blame meanwhile you're the person that is to blame it is very necessary that you understand your skin type i keep telling people this is like the major thing about skincare routine and that is why you're not able to understand you know what problem that you could probably face and you know the product and solution that you should be aiming for know your skin type you also know your skin tone i just believe that every color is actually very pretty i mean there was a particular time in my Life that I wish I was still a bit darker, not like this, but you know, this kind of dark. I like how you know, most um, big cosmetic brand will just use like this very dark people, and you could see how their skin will glow. It looks so pretty, so beautiful. So there's actually a difference between matte black and actually this kind of glossy black. Take your skin from that dull look to brighten up your skin to give it this glossy look and this very um, attractive look. But if at the end of the day you just um, believe that you don't like your skin color and you want to change, I would just advise that if you want to go through that process, if you sit your dermatologist, that you do it the safe and the right way. I don't like this, you know, the particular time this video was trendy where you know you see um they'll just do this whole concussion on somebody and the next thing see your skin color washing away. How do people just sit down and feel comfortable? You know the funny thing, the people that actually uh, take part in that procedure definitely they'll put on gloves, but if you look closely that color is nothing like what they are doing i don't understand how people will just sit down you're seeing somebody with their skin color i mean these are the people that are doing this process to you but you see them they are happy with their color and you will just sit down and watch someone doing some kind of concussion on your skin sometimes you even see them using spoon so to peel out your color and you feel comfortable you feel comfortable you know, and the person that is even doing it not like the person have that color the person has his own normal color and the person is happy with that but i feel like that's just really really disastrous you should also consider the long run when you start getting older you should also try to consider like, no matter what you're trying to do think of the long run or what if when you're finally older um what could happen and stuff like that don't just be so carried away by you know i'm a youth or i'm a young girl i'm a young person or this and that and then try to make so many miserable mistakes I think that maybe most um, um, young people are making they just want to enjoy the moment like I said if you really want to you know go for that big decision then see your dermatologist so you could do it the right and the safe way during my course of research I a doctor recommended that it's really good that you start your skincare routine in your early 20s to avoid um, you know situation where maybe you want to get like a Botox um, injection so he recommended that you start your skincare routine early like your early 20s and should go for product that contains um this ingredient like retinol vitamin c um hyaluronic acid and so many others and um, product that has this kind of ingredient they help with brightening they help with hydration they help with um all these um anti-aging and wrinkles and so many i feel like this is just like the safest way that i feel like it's like the safest way you could just you know try to 
pop your skin and give it this um, brightening effect and very classy and beautiful look. I've seen situations where people, you know, um, tell their story about having acne, how they feel bad about themselves, how, you know, they will stay indoor for so many days, um, you know, they'll have low self-esteem because of the acne and so many things. So I can understand how people feel when their skin is not good because at some point you start feeling you're not presentable so it's very important that you invest in your skin try to get good product try to get good product and another thing is try to be consistent and also try to be patient because some of them takes um, weeks for you to start seeing visible results fourth thing on my list that you should invest in as a young woman is knowledge invest in your knowledge don't be a flossy bimbo like my brother would say you know someone that is um, beautiful someone that is you know good looking but you don't have something good upstairs so try to read books that will help you you know that will try to build you up and sincerely that is something that i am still working on because i just want to you know look back from you know a few years from now i just want to be able to look back at my life and see how you know how much i have grown to be the woman that i desire to be don't just be you know someone that is just beautiful you know good looking but you don't have value for yourself or you don't give out value i feel like that is just like your waste and truth be told most men will not even respect you for that because if you just have only your beauty to bring to the table like what most people tell you you find out that at the end of the day you will be disrespected i don't like that you know stop people saying um i am the table you know i bring nothing to the table because i am the table or i just have my beauty to the table but for me if you ask for my opinion which i know you didn't ask for but anyway i'll tell you my opinion is i just find it that it just doesn't make sense at all why would you have only your beauty to bring to the table yes from now when probably you don't have that look anymore what then will you not bring to the table to me that doesn't just sound right i mean having just only beauty to the table it just feels like you're just empty and you just only have your beauty to cover up for you that is just how i see it instead you should be a woman of value you know try to add value to the surrounding that you are try to add value to the uh, you know places where you find yourself you know and that way you find out that you will be more respected i don't believe people will not just you know look down on you or have just anything or gibberish to say about you in this world people of value are much more celebrated more than any other person if you ask try to have something beyond just being beautiful try to you know develop yourself work on yourself and you can do that by investing in knowledge so it doesn't matter um what um what parts that you want to um, specialize on but just try to invest in your knowledge so the last thing on my list that as a young lady you should invest in is your spiritual life try to know god for yourself like my sister will say study the word um try to know god for yourself pray one day i just sat down and you know so don't know me that throughout my skincare journey i've never really had any issue where um there was a product not working for me you know stuff like that because we, we all know how um expensive skincare products are and situation where you buy something and then it's not working for you you all know how annoying it is so i realized that since i started getting products for myself i've never really had any issue and this is just because not that because i know what to get or i know the right product to get but because even before i get the product i always pray I'm like oh god you know help me let this brother work for me and also if i don't feel this piece i don't think i will buy that product so most time even any product that i just pick i will just you know say this little prayer in my mind and also until i find this piece that is when i can decide to buy that product so what i'm trying to say that it's not just everything that not like the bible says don't lean on your own understanding so i just believe that everything you really need to call it everything be it your hygiene be it your skincare be it academically be it financially you can't do all these things you don't think you have all the knowledge in the world that will help you obviously you do not so always try to lean back into god's hand to direct you or anything be it anything like you know before i always had this mindset that it has to be house or car or maybe like a very big miracle before you can actually ask god for something but my sister corrected that mindset also you know it once happened like i shared this story in one of my videos where i had issue with my my skin 
something was just coming out i tried everything that i knew was possible to like stop it but it still wouldn't go and that's when i like you know i just prayed to god like god please help me with my skin and that's why i found a solution that helped me you will not believe so those vaccines that helped me sometimes there are so many things that you go through um be it even skincare problem because you all know how sometimes people spend so much money on skincare products and at the end of the day it doesn't work for them so i believe things like this you take it to god you don't have to wait till you need a house or a car before you can pray be a woman of fire carry fire in you uh, even if you can't start with it maybe one hour two hours yes, you could start with minutes maybe even like 30 minutes or so and then you can gradually um build up the minute that you spend with god because i just feel it is just something very different like there was a story i read in the bible um, about moses where he went up to, um, to the mountain to speak with god you know he was there and when he came down from the mountain he had this um this glory that was upon him and the bible tell you that his face was shining his face was you know he had like this very i don't know how to explain it, but there was like a fresh glory upon him and even the people were so scared to speak with him you know at some point he had to cover his face so that the people can feel seen i just understood that the moment you spend with god each time or each minute that you spend with god you just try to you get special glory upon you when you when you seek when you're in the presence of god you just have this glory that is upon you and you could just imagine what that could do in like in your entire life so it's very good that you invest in your spiritual life get to know god for yourself like my sister would say also realize how um special and unique i find people that know god because i had this very good friend of mine in secondary school um she was really a genuine christian and she did well academically i mean she graduated as the best student and also beauty wise she was really really beautiful so that's like a whole package on somebody I also have like a friend to do in, in school here though she left um she's very beautiful she knows god so well and she's also very intelligent i mean these are like other things that can be added to you so don't just be full of yourself of your beauty so try to know god for yourself and try to invest in your spiritual life so my young beautiful vibrant ladies we've come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope and i believe which i do that this video has so much value and you've learned one or two things from this video so if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and if you're a new subscriber please let me know in the comments so we all get to welcome you to this wonderful family so don't forget to share the video to your friends also and thank you all for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys